Find the equation of a circle with the center located at negative 1, 5 that is also tangent to the x-axis. Let's interpret this given information by looking first at the graph. First we're told that we have the center of the circle at negative 1, 5. But we're also told that it's tangent to the x-axis. And the word tangent basically means that our circle touches but does not cross the x-axis which means that we're gonna have an ordered pair right here at the point negative one, zero, but then our circle is gonna come up and away from that point on both sides. So our circle is gonna look something like this. The easiest form of the equation to get to is the standard form, which as a reminder is x minus the x coordinate of the center, quantity squared plus y minus the y coordinate of the center, quantity squared is equal to r squared. It's pretty easy to see that the radius of this circle is going to be 5, which is the distance that our center point is away from the x-axis. And we're also given the coordinates of the center itself, which is negative 1, 5, so we really just need to plug those quantities into the standard form of the equation of the circle. So this is going to be x minus the x-coordinate of the center is negative 1, quantity squared plus y minus the y-coordinate of the center is 5, quantity squared is equal to the radius, which is 5, also squared. Now let's clean this up just a tad by calling this x plus 1, quantity squared, the y minus 5 binomial looks fine, and let's also call 5 squared 25, and this is the equation of our circle written in the standard form. To get the equation of this circle in the general form, all we'd need to do is to multiply all of this out and then combine like terms. Let's begin with x plus 1 quantity squared, which is x plus 1 times x plus 1. To multiply this out, we need to FOIL, which is multiply the first two terms together to get x squared. The outer terms, x times 1 is just x. The inner terms, x times 1 is again x. And the last two terms, 1 times 1 is positive 1. This gives us x squared plus 2x plus 1. So that's our first binomial multiplied out. And then to that, we're going to add the second binomial multiplied out. So that's y minus 5 quantity squared, which is y minus 5 times y minus 5. Again, we have to FOIL this out. The first two terms multiplied together are y squared. Negative 5 times y is negative 5y. The inner terms also give us negative 5y. And then plus 25 are the last two terms multiplied together. Combining like terms here, we get y squared minus 10y plus 25, and that gets added into this left-hand side. And we still have 25 over on the right. Let's set this equal to 0 by subtracting 25 from both sides, and also write our equation in descending order, which means that we begin with the x squared, y squared terms, and follow that by the linear terms, or the variables raised to the first power. Then 25 minus 25 is 0, and the only constant that remains on the left-hand side is 1, and we're equal to 0 on the right. So this is the equation of our circle written in the general form.